kind of ties in with this project because it was my uh, final major project for my foundation year and I was looking at the juxtapositioning of two cultures because I'm half Polish and half English and I kind of first looked into sort of British 1900 uh, fashion and it kind of made me look into suffragette kind of that pathway journey um, and I wanted to come here because my tutor recommended going to see the Pankhurst Centre but at that time it was closed so uh, for refurbishment, so I wasn't able to come and actually visit the Pankhurst and basically learn about their history. So I just did it through online and sort of reading books about it. Um, so basically, when I've moved back here, like last year, I found that Pankhurst were doing a centenary city project, and they were looking for ambassadors to help out with the project. And I was like, yeah, that's me. I'll sign up, get involved. Um, and sort of donate my project from the foundation year because it was relevant to the theme. So, you know, it's been 100 years since someone got the vote. So I was like, OK, this is perfect. I want to donate it. So it kind of has now a home rather than the back of my wardrobe. <laughs> and then the next time I displayed it was about a year and a half ago at the Festival of Choice in London. Um, Basically, it was a festival celebrating and bringing awareness to women's reproductive rights. Uh, so it kind of, again, had that theme of feminist ideal, so it was relevant. Um, everyone loved it. They, you know, they were like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, they were really wild about it. Uh, and then I showed some photographs that I did from a photo show to um, a woman that I was helping out with for feminism in London. So they had they have a conference every year and alongside the conference they have an exhibition. So obviously I showed my work there and they were like, this is amazing, we need to have it in. So everyone's everyone loves it. Like there's sort you know, there's something about it that sort of like brings it to them, kind of draws them into and they're like, this is so cool, like oh I love it kind of thing. So I started off First, looking at sort of the imagery and photographs of suffragettes in the UK uh, to do link it back to my British culture, and then for my other culture, Polish, I was looking at traditional Polish uh, costumes and basically looking at the sort of intricate detailing uh, and sort of imagery that I had and creating sort of uh, patterns and sort of drawings to basically create like. Uh, a print sort of type thing to go on to some sort of, some sort of garment. So you can see it through here with the arrows here. So that kind of links it back to the Polish uh, side of things because they were basically a lot of the Polish costumes had lots of detailing, lots of like symbols and motifs. And I kind of wanted to link it to with the typography. So the text is basically certain iconic phrases and words from the suffragette movement, especially these not words. In in some terms, yeah, it's a walking banner. Um, and then also, I kind of didn't want to make it finished. Uh, it's kind of unfinished and raw, and it kind of reflects back to the fact um, that our progress with feminism and our equal rights um, is still ongoing, it's never finished. And yes, we've made some progress. So obviously, we've got the right to vote now. Um, then there's the Abortion Act that we've, that's in place. You know, we have the right to the pill, you just call it the pill, <laughs> um, you know, sexual health. And also, we've moved to women becoming as human beings rather than back in the days where they were property. So there is some sort of progress, but at the same time, we have still a lot to go for, you know, still a lot to do. Um, so it kind of reflects that whole idea, you know, it's not finished. It's never going to be finished in my kind of ideas, you know, we're not going to be finished fighting for our, you know, rights as women and as human beings. Just because we're feminists or we believe in feminist ideals, we shouldn't lose our femininity. It kind of, you know, those two things kind of come together and we can basically express it 
how we feel like how we want to rather than what we've been enforced by society you know by the media kind of it's weird to think that it's going to be in an archive for people to look at you know f- for generations to come like for a long period of time because obviously <clears throat> this has just literally been in my room you know hidden away so it's weird to think that loads of people are going to be seeing it um, and obviously, as an artist, we all have that sort of relationship where we sometimes hate our work. So I like, like I like it, but at the same time, I don't like it. So, like, I have negative feelings about it, but I'm also positive to it being shown and sort of being a part of the exhibition with everyone else's work, which is great. So then there'll be different types of works alongside it, so it'll be nice to see how it goes together with everything else.